Hey friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. Till the last episode, we covered everything with respect to pipes. Starting today, we are going to learn everything about routing. Routing is extremely essential for any application that you work with in Angular. I have never come across an Angular application which does not include routing at some basic level. At least you will have one route in each application. It's not mandatory, but yet, like I said, if you are building any serious uh, application, you will need a lot of uh, routes to be configured. That being said, let's get started. This is part 39 of the series. Before we get started, my humble request to you is to continue to support me and my channel by liking, sharing and commenting on the videos. If you also need any tech support or training on your job, write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Alright, so following is the detailed, most comprehensive, um, I would say playlist so far on YouTube that I'm creating for free of cost. and today's episode number 39 all right let's talk about angular routing angular routing is a mechanism through which we enable the user to switch between different components or views within an Am angular application which means when you build an angular application you will have a lot of components and you might want to set up routes for those components that the user can navigate those routes can be let's say slash user slash dashboard slash login slash create account slash orders can be anything till angular 16 we used to have something called app routing module okay that's a very very important change remember till angular 16 we used to have app routing module but from angular 17 onwards we do not have app routing module instead we will have a file which is called app.routes.ts file in which we will configure all our routes. What does that mean? It does not mean that you cannot use router module. You can still use router module for setting up routes like for a module or child routes etc. I will cover that as part of this tutorial. For now all you have to understand is that by default there is no app routing. Instead, there is app routes.ts file. So if you open the Angular 17 application and go scroll down below, you would see app routes.ts. That's where we have been adding few routes as part of the tutorial so far. I'll cover all of this in detail. I'll empty this and I'll show you from scratch how to do that. Okay. So remember, there is no app routing, only app routes.ts. That's where we will add the routing module. But if you are following this, we have created some modules earlier on in the, um, in the the during this tutorial. And that's where I showed you that you can build a lot of, um, uh, you can also use the routing module that you want to configure. Okay. I don't have that handy right away, but yeah, I can show you uh, Yeah, here admin routing, right? So we can still create routing modules for our component, our modules. Okay. Remember that. Do not think that we cannot create routing modules anymore. We can create, but it's not available readily as app routing module. That's the most important thing I want to highlight. Okay, back to it. Route configurations will configure the routes in the app routes in app route.ts file. We will use router outlet. I will tell you what this does, what is the important, how to display the output in router outlet. We also have something called router link, okay, which is what uh, will be used to click and navigate. We will learn how to pass route parameters, configure child routes. We will also learn how to enable lazy loading. We will do route guards and route navigation. All of this are inbuilt into Angular that will allow us to do a lot of configurations right at the routing level. Some of this have not changed from Angular 16 but where we configure have changed. We also have wildcard routes. We also have route resolvers. We have uh, 404 that we can set up. We have router events. And obviously we all can also use HTML5 history API uh, that we can configure. So as part of the routing, Angular routing, 
what are the some of the things that we will do we will learn how to configure routes for components we will write how to generate query params from routes we will also get the URL segment we will do route handling lazy loading child uh, routes for a module we'll handle wildcards default routes we'll also do um, route authentication like protecting route guards and those things so this this will be an extensive um, hands-on tutorial on routing but this is an introduction to tell you what all angular comes in with right these are all built in into angular which we can use to build a solid application all right i'll keep it quick on this one and um, in the next episode we start coding and we'll start setting up the routes for our components i hope you're enjoying this series i hope you're learning let's continue that learning let me know if you have any questions or doubts i'll be more than happy to help you thank you so much for joining please do like share and subscribe to my channel